Hello again, and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is Jesse, aka BGFH, and I am back for another low vision spotlight game video, but also for a game that has added a lot of accessibility features. So, unfortunately, this game is not completely, it's not playable by somebody who is completely blind. But if you have um, any degree of low vision or of, you know, a, a good degree, you know, a variety of low vision, you may be able to play this game. <clears throat> we are looking at a game that I've been wanting to talk about for months at this point. We are looking at a game called Eagle Island. And Eagle Island is a 2D action platformer, very colorful, very fun to play, and like I said, I'm not going to be just praising this game because of, because of its accessibility features, but it's genuinely a fun game, too. It is available for the PC and the Nintendo Switch, and I will give you guys a disclaimer right off the bat here. Um, the PC version that we are looking at here, I was actually provided by the developer because um, early on, uh, so originally what happened was, um, shout out to Pixelmix here, um, thank you by the way, thank you, thank you for making the game, adding the accessibility features, uh, for allowing me to do some testing and help you out, thank you for all of that. But on Twitter, you know, I heard about this game called Eagle Island, and, you know, there was some conversations about games including accessibility, and I saw the trailer that he had released that was specifically about all of the accessibility features he was adding to this game. After seeing that trailer, and after seeing a specific feature in particular that we're going to see shortly, I'm like... Oh, I don't know when this game is coming out, but I have to know. I, I, I have to play this. Like, I want to play this right now. And I want to be able to not just play it, but I want to be able to help, you know, catch any bugs or improve the accessibility as much as we can. So I reached out to the developer. And uh, he was kind enough to say, sure, we, you know, you, you can uh, help us out and, you know, give some thoughts on the accessibility features and feedback and things like that. So I got to play this um, a bit early, and uh, I just couldn't talk about it. Um, so like I said, as part of that, that's how I got the PC version of the game. However, the accessibility features in this game, including, yes, there is text-to-speech. So this text-to-speech that's in here is in the game itself. It is not tied to narrator, it is not tied to a screen reader like NVDA or JAWS that is running on the computer, so I could download this on the Switch and still have all the accessibility features, including the screen reader. And so what I'm going to do is I am going to personally double dip here and I'm going to buy the Switch version because A, I can have this in a portable form, which is great. I think it would work very well that way. And I will be able to show somebody, like, I can take my Switch somewhere and I can go, hey, look, even if a company like Nintendo, <clears throat> who doesn't really do much with accessibility, I am very thankful of their Zoom feature, which I have been putting to great use lately. But otherwise, they really haven't done a lot as far as, like, console-wide accessibility, like Microsoft or even Sony. But despite this... I can show them a game that say, hey, this is a small indie developer, and look at all the amazing stuff that they have done. And, you know, be it talking to developers, other people in the industry, like I said, I'm kind of making more connections that way. I'm going to local IGDA meetings. Um, it's, you know, I just want to be able to have that to be able to show people. Because, like I said, this is what's possible. So enough chatter. Let's, um, I'm going to show you a little bit of gameplay here. 
But the gameplay itself is partially the focus of this video, but again, being a YouTube channel who is focusing on access accessibility, I really want to display, I really want to show you guys the level of accessibility or the variety of accessibility features in this game. So, I am on the, uh, the save select screen. I can choose my save slot that I want. I have three slots here. And if I arrow up and down... Slot 2. Slot 1. Slot 2. Slot 3. So slot I can choose slot which slot I want. Now, if I am on slot 1, if I right arrow over with my... And I'm using the Xbox One controller here. Delete slot 1. No. Settings. So settings. Language. Join the community on Discord. Credits. Exit game. So there's your other options. So let's just go... Settings. Deletes. Slot 1. Let's go into... Oh... Slot 2. Let's go into slot 2. This is, uh... The, this is the Eagle one where I'm, I'm the furthest around. So... To start with, there are three difficulty levels. There are There's the standard difficulty, where you have three hearts. And there is the hardcore difficulty, where it, of course, makes things a lot harder. And then there's the casual difficulty, which gives you six hearts. Um, they give you more power-ups come easier. Um, and when you're choosing a new game, it will actually not only read you what the difficulty settings are that you can choose, but it will tell you, like, oh, these are the things that you can do. So, I am Quill here. I'm this little guy here. We originally got uh, shipwrecked on this island, and I have my little owl buddy here. And, um, yeah, I got, early on, you get this, right away in the game, you get this falconry glove, and so you have, basically, your attacks are you're throwing out your bird, and they will attack. And throughout the game, if I pause it here, I get all these feathers. Now, this kind of looks familiar if you're like a Legend of Zelda fan. On the left-hand side, I've got these menus settings. here, this horizontal Exit menu. Game. Setting. Exit game. Settings. Achievements. Resume. Zephyrus Feather. So, Zephyrus Feather. These are different feathers that I have acquired throughout the game so far. So, if I hit A on this... Zephyrus Feather. Launch an attack which chains through foes. Watch your manoric meter. So it gives me the description of what that item is in the inventory. And look at this visually. <laughs> look at how look at how ginormous that text is. That is a beautiful thing. Good contrast, easy text to read. Um, yeah, I don't have to squint to try to be able to read something. It's fantastic. Icarus feather. Icarus feather. Okay. Magirus feather. Icarus feather. So what does Icarus feather do? Icarus feather. Launch an icy attack to freeze foes. Okay. Watch your manoric meter. So, manoric meter, that is your mana, essentially. Like I said, it's just like your energy. So you have a health, and then you have essentially your, feather. your energy meter. Magirus feather. Launch an explosive attack yep, to hit explosive. many foes. So, Watch like I said, as meter. I throw my bird out, I can switch to these different feathers, which will give them different properties. Electric, or explosive, or like this. Koji's feather. Koji's feather. Uh, oh, that's Magirus the original. Feather. Yeah, Koji, that's my owl, dude. I always forget the owl's name. But, Magirus uh... Feather. Stratosphere. Oh, what does that do again? Stratosphere. Oh, that's... Hold and tap to escape skyward when using Icarus Feather. Watch your manoric meter. Ah. Uh, okay, I don't even remember that. Let me see that again. What was that? Stratosphere. Hold and tap to escape skyward when using Icarus Feather. Watch okay. your manoric meter. All right. So, yeah, I mean, I can arrow through... Stratosphere. Now, I'm not in a level right now. I'm in the overworld, but if I arrow up... Empty slot. Empty slot. One, two, empty three, slot. Empty four, slot. Empty five. slot. So, these are, um, basically when you're going through a level, um, you get, there's these chests that you can get, you get these little, call you, there's, uh, silver seeds, which can be used in a certain type of thing, and then there's gold seeds, which can unlock these, uh, chests, or vice versa. And, um, you get these, per, you know, temporary upgrades where, like, oh, I can, I get an extra, I can, um, have an additional electric power to my attacks, or I get like a treasure hunter ability, or I get more health, or any number of things, even based on the different feathers that I've collected thus far in the game. Um, and they're, they're kind of time-based, so like they'll only last for so long, most of them. 
But yeah, I mean, all of this stuff speaks with Monster Log Narrator Stage Log. Or I, I keep wanting to call it Narrator because it's the Narrator voice. Monster Log. But with its own voice. Resume. So let's just kind of cruise around the overworld just a little bit here. Um, you know what? Let's go into the level. Let's because I can replay this. Uh, this is the mine level. This is Gems the high second. Mines run six. So this is the second level of the game. And these are little uh, teleport statues. So once I unlock them Name in the level, sign. to use an elemental feather, a falconer must expend mana. Name sign. When playing casual rules, earn mana by defeating monsters. So any little tutorials, any character dialogue that you hear or see, you can read it. Or if you enable the screen reader mode, you can. It'll work. So what I'm gonna do. Okay, why aren't you letting me switch? Close map. Okay, now it'll let me switch. So I want the lightning bolt here. Boom! That is the special attack with that certain feather. So now. Uh, it opens this little switch door. So I guess I'll show you a little bit of gameplay in an actual level. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of the accessibility features as we play here. So right now, I'm going to switch back to my base feather just so I don't have to waste mana right now. Um, so I can throw... I can throw my um, my owl buddy here. I can throw him in all kinds of different directions. So we got a chest here that's going to give us a bunch of nice little happy resources there. Now it's not just low vision stuff that they've added. You know, you can fully customize the controls. There are um, there's an auto targeting thing. So right now I'm manually targeting. If I want to shoot up into the left. I have to do that with my D-pad or my analog stick. I this is it's a 2D game to me. This just feels right with the D-pad. Um, so you know I can I can tune I can shoot it down when I jump. I can shoot it down into the left, up into the right, like that. But if there's enemies around, I can also turn auto targeting on. So we're just gonna kind of cruising through here. So oh, there we go. Kill that guy. And if you want to ah shoot, if you want to see some extended gameplay, um, I did a mixer stream. Fifteen seeds. Will has this past seeds. Saturday. Electro globe. Produce a globe of electricity when attacking using Zephyr's feather. Right. So this is a chest. I had to have so many of these colored seeds uh, in order to open this chest, and now I can pick this. Uh, I get this special uh, bonus. I can put it in my slots up here, and it's uh, available to me available to me for a particular period of time. But uh, yeah, I have a mixer stream. I'm actually currently kind of downloading it as we speak, uh, so I can get back on out on YouTube. Now watch when I walk up to this chest. Chest cost 15 seeds. Quill has four seeds. So Quill has four seeds. I don't have enough. Ow! I don't have enough. Yeah, you need to die, you little fire demon. So I don't have enough here. But I love how I would, it tells me not only the requirements, but how many I have. That's a nice touch. It tells me both pieces of information, which, yeah, Chest I'd want to know that. 18 seeds. Woo. Quill has 12 seeds. I found a secret room that I can't do anything with because I don't have Chest cost. 18 seeds. enough seeds. Quill has 12 seeds. I need at least 18 to get something there. Okay, so let's kill that guy. All right, so let's let's start looking at some accessibility. Achievement so, settings. Back. Settings. Accessibility. Accessibility. Before I go in accessibility, let's just show you the menu here. Instructions. Web. GIF recorder. It's GIF. It's GIF. GIFs are for graphics. GIF is for peanut butter. UI settings. <laughs> UI settings. Controls. Okay, controls. Audio settings. Graphics settings. So if I go into any of Save. these. Aiming guide. All of them will speak. 
There's a couple options, like this one here won't speak. Screen There's scale, a couple zero. options that I'm Windows not sure size, why they don't resolution, speak anything. Um, aim, save. But, you know. Audio settings. Uh, audio. Controls. UI settings. Let me see what's save. under UI again. I need to remember. Speed running. Okay. So defeated monsters. Speed running, defeated. Mini map. Oh, yeah. Rune stones. Seeds and coins. Now you notice that we have checkboxes here. They tell you what the item is, but they don't actually tell you the value of the checkbox, whether it's checked or unchecked. And yeah, like I said, if this game was playable by a totally blind player, this would definitely be a problem. But it's not quite as big a deal in this case because, like I said, you do need some vision to be able to play it. And just the fact that I can Runestones. quickly hear Seeds what the item points. is... I know what I'm checking or unchecking, and I can, I'm can i very stones. easily able to see which one, if I look to the right there, I see which checkboxes are, you know, which Mini map. is in focus, and I can see whether it's checked or unchecked. So, you know, it's in this case, it's not the end of the world because the, the people who are going to be playing this are going to need to have still some vision. Um, but just wanted to point that out Defeated there. That's why you're not hearing map. checked or unchecked. So, mini map is unchecked. I, I unchecked that because... If I want to use the map, I'm going to use the full screen thing because having a little tiny map in the, tucked away in the corner doesn't really do me a lot of good. So I just kind of have the, you know, I want to look at the full screen. But yeah, um, so we'll go there. GIF recorder. Instructions. Accessibility. Accessibility. Back. Controls. So controls. Save. Game speed. 100%. Again, let's say you have uh, motor impairment. And you just you can't react to some of the stuff as quickly. You can literally turn the game speed down. Um, Save game speed, one hundred percent. I think you can do it down to like fifty percent. I think was it like ten increments? Ninety percent, eighty percent, seventy, sixty percent, fifty percent. Yep, all the way down to fifty percent. Six, seventy percent. So let's say that I did this to seventy. Save back. And I'm gonna go back, back. into the game. Resume. Oh wow, yeah. It's kind of like I'm floating underwater. Whee! Unf oh wow, it actually... Yeah, I'm in Matrix mode now. Uh. Oh wow, that feels really weird to me. But like I said, for people who need it, it's fantastic. So this is this room is now. Uh, I was locked in, and you see we got another one of those teleport statues here, and we have this guy here, this toucan, and this is a store. Back. Return to exploration. That we can purchase some temporary items for this particular level, and I, I don't remember if I mentioned each level you go into, the overworld is a set. Um, you know, it, it's handcrafted. The overworld, everything is always in the same place. But each level is procedurally generated, so each run, let's say if you die or you return to a level for whatever reason, um, you're going to be doing a new random run. So these will help you... Manor used to launch elemental attacks. Heart, recover one health point. So I can recover health point. Oh wow, I wasn't paying attention and I already got hurt a lot, so good thing I got some Extra health. Heart. Increase quills maximum sure, let's health. give them an extra... Oh, I don't have enough. Compass, display chests, and warp points on the map. Rockhound, an additional chance for monsters to drop mana rook. Ah. Blast zone, increase the blast radius when using Magira's feather. Okay. So that's all I'm going to buy. Let's go back into accessibility. Settings. Accessibility. Controls. And I'm going to switch my... Games 8, 100%. 100%. Use right stick. Allows directional buttons for actions. So I can use my right stick to do different actions instead of buttons. So, you know, let's say somebody's using an alternate control method, they would be able to do that. Disable vibration. Okay, that makes sense. Disable vibration, pretty self-explanatory. Disable gamepad. Disable gamepad, okay. Enable mouse control. So you can also enable mouse control. So again, if somebody wants to, you know, instead of using an analog stick, they could use uh, a mouse or, um, let's say, like a trackball, whatever sort of mouse pointing device they had, uh, to do the same thing to control, um, you know, to basically aim your attacks. Auto aim. And auto aim is checked. Okay, I didn't realize it was, but okay. So now I, you know, I can manually 
aim my attacks, but if, you know, if I just let it go, if there's enemies, it'll just lock on. Save. So, screen reader. Screen reader. Let's go into this because this is what I enabled Save. right away. Volume. 100%. I can adjust the volume separate from the game volume, which is fantastic. Um, because I can adjust the music and the sound effects volume elsewhere in the options. Screen reader rate. 1. I can even adjust uh, default to zero, of course, but um, I can speed up the, the speech, which is great for those of us who are used to text-to-speech and just want to get through stuff. Screen reader. And, of course, toggle the screen reader on or off itself. Well, we're definitely going to leave Save. it on. And visuals. visuals. Here's where we're going to pop in and out of the menus a few times, because I want to show you some of the things that we can do here. Reduce flashing. Reduce flashing. So... Uh, when you hit certain enemies, uh, especially bosses and stuff, you'll get like a lot of flashes and stuff. So maybe if somebody, if it's a certain speed, you know, like so people are susceptible to that kind of a thing, bright flashes or epileptic, that kind of a thing. Disable screen shake. Disable screen shake. So right now, I'm going to turn that on. And if I start attacking Save. enemies, that. like that. when I attack enemies Exit here, resume. let's go to the left here. Oh, we got, okay, we got a minecart level. So usually when I come on, where are the enemies, man? Holy crap! Come on, there's one. Ding. Ah, he hit me too. Okay, well, there we go. We got through our minecart area. So if I, ow, ow. Would you kindly? So you see now, there's no flashing. Actually, exit game settings, accessibility, visuals, screen read controls. It seems like in auto aim. Save screen visuals. So let's turn Reduce, disable screen shake. Turn that back on. Outline platform. Disable screen. Outline platforms. Outline platforms. Now again, let's say you're a low vision user, and this game hasn't been too bad about it. But um, there has been several games where it's some kind of action platformer, even Bloodstained in some areas that I was playing recently, where you don't really know if a ledge is kind of decorative or if it's actually part of the if it's actually part of the game. So, like, can I jump on this? Is it just decoration? Now with this, it'll... Outline, outline platforms. It will outline the platforms. Outline characters. And I can also outline characters. So let's say that I want that. I'm going to check that, too. Disable lighting. Now, I'm not going to disable lighting just yet, but we'll come back and do that in shortly. Dim backdrop, 20%. So, and I can also dim the backdrop to... So let's put this at Zero full... percent. Zero. Oh, look at... The, oh, wow, look at that. You can even see behind the dialogue 0%. there. So there's zero percent. I'm gonna put this. This is the way it would look um, for everybody I mean, if you turn any of this off. So let's say, yeah, let's uh, reduce save. Save. Back. Back. Resume. So now, oh wow. You see how the enemies have. Oh, weird, there's another... <laughs> that's really weird. I just get a store, and we're hi already hitting another one. Back, Matt Hart, recover one health okay, point. Okay, so there we go. Back, Actually... Matt Hart, extra heart, increase yeah, Will's maximum money. health. But you see, everything kind of has this white glow around it. Now, to make that easier to Setting. see, let's go ahead... Accessibility. And... Control, visuals. Reduce the out, outline, disable dim backdrop 40%. I'm going to dim it to 40 just so you can really 60%. see. 60%. All right, let's go 60. Let's make it real dim. And this is great because there are times, again, like I said, maybe even areas in Bloodstained or other, many, many other 2D platformer action games that I've played on the channel where not just can I tell whether a platform is there or if it's part of the decoration or if it's actually part of the level. Um... You know, I don't want to turn the background necessarily completely off because then I get to lose a lot of the mood. I get to lose a lot of the artistry that is in the game, a lot of the visual style. Yes, it's easier to see, but I miss out on, like I said, a lot of the way the game is intended to look. But if I can just dim that down a little bit, um, Way of the Pacifist also did this. So if Discount, I... Reduce, save. 
save. Back now back. I go Resume. back. Look at that. Look at how... Look at... I can... It's easy to see now. Okay, we got this... Uh, got that guy, yeah. So... Ow. Kill that guy there. You see, even my little owl buddy, he gets... Uh, so let me turn... I'm gonna turn... Settings. Accessibility. Visuals. Outline platform. Outline characters. Turn the character outlines, but I want to keep the platform outlines Disable on. lighting. Now, let's do disable lighting. Let's turn that on and just see. So you'll probably see some out, out, things here. Flat, save. That resume. So now, any sort of like shadows or, you know, like kind of glowy effects. We've stripped it down. This is... Oh boy. Hello. Yeah, you need to... And you hear that ding ding? That's me getting... The more enemies I hit in a combo, you're gonna hear... Ow. You're gonna hear that, um... I gotta kill this guy real fast. Get these treasures. But yeah, so when you hear me, you hear like a ding ding noise, that's me getting combos in the air. So that you don't touch the ground or you suc hit successive enemies, that's what's going to happen. So, you know, again, let's say you have some low vision and you just, just need a... 17 seeds. Will has 57 seeds. Alright, let's grab it. Invulnerability. Ooh. Will is invulnerable for a brief period. Okay. So, sure, we'll put that up there. That's definitely a good thing to have. So let's book it while we have this... Uh, you see, we're flashing as well, so even if I get hit, it's not going to really be a big deal. So there we go. Kill that guy. Come here, buddy. Hey. How you doing? You guys need to perish. And we got a guy up here still that I gotta... See, I can hit him, or he can hit me, and it won't even do anything. But we're almost out. You see the little kind of pie-shaped timer around that... Uh, Yep, and now it's shattered, and now I'm not invincible anymore. But we do have a chest that gives us some much-wanted treasure, which I kind of want to go back. And I could go back and go get an extra heart. I don't know that I necessarily need it, but hey, why not? You know, like I said, it's called insurance. So, and I could go all the way up to the top, too. So there's another pathway, I back. think. Back, heart. Extra heart. So we'll grab Increase that. Increase compass, that there. display chests, and warp points on the map. All right. So, so let's go ahead. Settings and accessibility visuals. Visuals. Disable screen. Outline platform. Turn that off. Out disable lighting. Turn the lighting back out on. Out but we'll still flash. keep out actually. Out disable lighting. Dim back. Forty percent. Let's go forty percent. Now you'll out see out more disable. background. Reduce flashing. Save. So look at all the ways that you can Control. customize. Back. Back. Resume. See, look at this now. Like, remember how black it was before? Now I'm still getting to see some of the, you know, the I see the trees in the background there. I see, like, the rocks. You know, you got some just, again, I get to enjoy the artwork, but I actually still get to see the game, you know? What a novel idea, right? What a novel idea, being able to be able to make the game easier to see, but still enjoy it the way everyone else does. That's, again, awesome. Hey, hey, that's unacceptable. Chest cost, 33 seeds. Will has air jump. Gain an additional double jump before touching the ground. Ooh. I like that, but the, eventually there'll be a... Yeah, there's a... There's a permanent ability that will give you that... Uh, But you don't get it for a ways in. So you even look at this. Remember how it was just basically black? Now you get to see... There's some nice, like, parallax scrolling in the background there, it looks like. Uh, what was over here again? Oh, yeah, that was that che Oh, yeah, that was that invincibility chest. So you see how now we even have a light here. We didn't even have that... Uh, we did not even have that light source, that lantern that is swaying in the background there. So, yeah. Uh, it's still nice and easy to see... Let's go through here. Oh, oh wow. Here we got another store. Ow, hey, that's unacceptable. Kill you. And we okay, we got one more little chitterer guy over here. 
Where are you? Hey. Ah. There we go. Now we got it open. So let's go talk to our little back. Manera heart. Recover one health point. Get that. Extra heart. Extra heart. Sure. Inc compass. Display chests. At air jump. Sub zero. Create a freezing zone with Icarus feather. Ah. Sure. Oh, can't afford it anyway. All right. So I'm guessing we're probably gonna. Oh, okay. We got another mine cart here. I like this music too. It's gonna get serious. Okay, we go there. I'm gonna haul through this thing here. Uh, oh, wow, I missed. Come on, climb. Climb, buddy. Ow. I gotta get again. But I got a lot of health. Ah, I missed that. I mistimed that. Again, you don't want to button mash. You do want to time it. And again, you, even if you have the auto aim, sometimes like that. Ah, oh, wow, that got lucky there. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah, they're. Trust me. Later on, they are not generous with these stores the way they are right now. Like this is like every other room. It seems like we get the shop. Um, no, this is definitely not the standard operating procedure. I'll show you a later Commander level. Apart. Recover one health. I'll show point. you the the dreaded level that I am currently stuck on and that I just. Uh, I don't like. I do not like it, Sam. I am. Okay, get out of here, you little spiky thing. You need to be dealt with. Eh, so, let's kill that guy. We probably, I'm guessing we should be getting to the boss here pretty quick. Okay, we kill that guy, and that guy, and that guy. Chest yeah. cost 89 seeds. Ow! Quill has 82 seeds. Gold hearts, a chance for gold hearts to replace normal hearts, holding twice the healing power. Ooh, I like that. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay, we got more. Oh, wow. Okay, hey, how you doing? Okay, we got more enemies here. Kill that guy. Wow, there's there's enemies galore in here. Chest cost, 34 seeds. Quill has 61 seeds. Stupid dynamite. Okay, well, he's gone. Okay, we grab that. Oh, this water looks like tar. It's just black. And, okay, the boss is to the right. Which means I'm going to go to the left real fast. Just to see what's in this other door. Oh, this. Okay, sure, we'll do this. Okay, so... I found out the other day, like, you can't hit those, so you just gotta go in between them. Ah, that was bad. That was ill-timed. Wow, and I just... Oh, wow. And of course I don't even have what I need. What the hell do I need to get in there? Oh dear! Okay, well, hopefully I can make it back so I can go get my health back. Instead of being a stooge and getting hit every time. Okay, let's get through here. So... Here we go. Yeah, I better go get my health back. So let's go back up to where that shop was, and then we'll go kill the boss. I'll show you a little bit of... Chest cost, 34 seeds. Will has 69 seeds. Alright, we'll grab it. I got one extra slot. Icicles launch from frozen monsters when mm. defeated. Okay, fair enough. So we're gonna go up top here and. Okay, it was up this way. I know there was a. It wasn't terribly far back. I think it was up into the right here. We'll go to that shop and then. I'll show you the level that I'm having trouble with, and how did I miss this before? Too busy blabbing, apparently. Alright. So, let's go... Manor apart. Recover one health there point. we go. Grab that. 
and now we'll go fight the boss again. So, um, but yeah, I just, I really, really wanted to showcase the accessibility. I, I've wanted to talk about this game, like I said, for months, but I was not at liberty to do so until now, because this game came out, eh, uh, as I'm recording this earlier, it came out on the 11th of uh, July, July 11th, so... It is after that now, so I am at liberty... Oh, oh, there's a store right here. What the hell? Okay. Okay, well, I guess I didn't have to go back, but... That's okay. Alright, we got these stupid little... Burrower guys. Hey! Yeah, you laugh it up, bud. Your, your, your time's coming. Okay. Back. Return to exploration. Manor of heart. Recover okay, one health we're point. Good there. Wow, this game is, or this level is longer than I thought. I thought we were getting to the boss, but like I said, this will at least give you Oh god. That will give you an idea of what this game is like. You'll get to see me play through a level. And again, it's, you know, everyone is it's different, so, you know, your level is not going to look the same as mine. But, uh... Ah, okay, I got hit. Incendiary yeah. invertible Here we go. Okay, so we got this guy. Which means... Uh-oh, God. Hit him, hit him. He's in the air. So, so as long as I keep hitting him... Oh, well, listen to all those gen- Oh, man, I'm kicking this guy's ass. Wow. Combo City. I believe... I believe, in Killer Instinct terms, that would be an ultra combo. That was badass. And I still got a C? Come on, really? Alrighty, fine, whatever. Um... Didn't get all the chests, didn't get all the whatever, but... Man, I stayed in that fight, I stayed in the air. I got hit twice, but... I stayed in that the, the air, basically hovering, just repeatedly ramming that guy with my owl. Um, he... Eagle Island Overworld. Yeah, I was in the air, like, I think pretty much 98, 99% of that fight. Just... Doosh, doosh, doosh. You heard all those beeps, and they... Unfortunately, the, they reset when I... They reset when I uh, got hit, but quite the good combos going on there. That was pretty awesome. So now we're back in the overworld, and this does not change. So I can show you actually two other little things really fast. So I'll show you an overworld boss in the other save file shortly. Um, but I wanted to show you... where is it? Uh, okay, yeah, this way. I'll show you the level that is driving me absolute bananas right now. And unfortunately, I don't think... Um, slowing time down will really help me. Oh yeah, okay, so there's... That's the first level down there. That's the first level that you actually encounter. So those things, if you hit them, they drop and kind of explode. So we're going to leave them alone right now. But we're going to... Uh, oh, okay, yeah, I can get up here. This damn fire level, it is the bane of my existence. I don't know if it's just me sucking that bad, or if the level is just hard. I've gone to the boss once, maybe twice. But as you'll see, I've tried this level many, many, many times. It's starting to piss me off. Fireside Forest Run 35. 35, good God. So there you go, fire is coming. There is no... Ow. You don't want to get hit, obviously, but like I said, I've already taken hits. Wow, I've taken three. Wow. Wow. This is a disaster already. Okay, you know what? Just kill me. I mean, I'm not even... It's like I'm not even trying at this point. I'm just rushing. I'm playing extremely poorly. Uh, oh, no. Come on. Yeah, there we go. I want to get around that poison, but... Yeah, see, look at this. I'm, I'm already dead. So I want to go up and to the right, 
Let's do this one more time. Fireside Forest Run 36. Okay, let's just, we gotta haul ass. Wow, the god, that stuff lingers. That poison cloud just lingers even after you kill them for so long. I'm trying to get it, I'm just trying to jump over some of these guys because, again, it's all about getting through. We got this incessant fire just chasing me the whole time. And again, like I said, you don't want to be sloppy, but you don't want to. Chest cost 11 seeds. Will chest cost 11 seeds. Don't care at the moment. Get out seeds. of my way. Will has 10 seeds. I mean, I want to get seeds so I can afford stuff, but I got to keep moving. Kill that. I mean, I want the seeds, but no. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna jump way. Oh, oh God, that's bad. Yeah, give me those. Give me at least that'll give me something for later. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep burning. Keep on burning. Damn it. Just, and they take multiple hits. Those uh, bowl or those bowl things. And now, yeah, I'm beeping, so I'm boinked already. Huh. Uh, ah! I think I go to the right. Got that. So, like I said, oh, so yeah, yeah, something came down and hit me. Boom, dead. That level, not gonna lie, it's just. Eagle Island Overworld. The fire comes on upon you so fast. Uh, let's go. Settings. Exit game. Exit. Cancel. Re exit. Return to title. Return to title. I'll show you the um, one of the overworld bosses. So I'm sure I'm gonna have to fight slot slot three. Her again. This is the file that I was playing last night Eagle during overworld. my stream. So we got this guy Name here. Oliver. The repairs should not take long. This cannon has blown Armora out of the sky before, so it can do it again. All right. Armora is this big bird that is. Kidnapping all of the other Name nature, Oliver. the birds go and now. stuff. Alright, go now. Alright, so you, you hear the music, it's pretty serious. Some stuff is about to go down. This is earlier in the game than, when, than what we just were. Um, I've beaten three levels at this point in this... Oh, I don't have my double jump. I, I'm, I'm so used to having that. Like, I, I swear to God, platformers should just have double jump out of the gate. It's just... So nice. I love I love the double jump ability in any game. And he can grab onto ledges. Okay, so this is locked. So in order to do this, I need there's some switches down there, and I need this ice beam gizmometer. And thud, they fall on the switches, and life is good. Um Let's do that, because we're going to go find a... Oh, wait, no, we need... I think it's this one. Yep. Explosive. So there's our explosive rounds. And that's what we're going to need here. Um, I'm going to try to kill... I, I will probably die here. But you get to meet Big Bird. Hey, buddy. your ice, that's fine. Oh, crud! I, I didn't pay attention. I was trying to get that... I was trying to get that power up, and then I... That was totally my bad. So now it's either gonna be electricity... Oh, fire, okay. Okay, it's gonna be fire. Okay, that one I'm gonna have to jump! There we go. Get off the side, she's gonna swoop. So there is a pattern to it. Now this one's gonna be lightning, I'm sure, because she likes to alternate. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, so we, okay, I avoided that. I avoid, see? Okay, this one I'm gonna have to jump. There we go. Come on. Which one are you gonna do? Okay, ice again. 
and you're gonna be okay. I'm gonna have to jump. Oh no! Oh crap! Yeah, I, I got hit. I, okay, that was my bad. That was my bad. Ow! Okay. Okay, that's someone gonna have to jump because some of them you can crouch. Stay over here so that way she doesn't do her little swoopy thing. Kill me. Ow, lightning. Ow, lightning. That, that's bad. Okay, I'm gonna have to jump. Ugh. Okay, get over here. I got my little power up, so we're gonna. She's gonna come back. That's good. And it's gonna be a jump. No crouching. Ah, you bugger! What? Oh, wait. Oh, did I beat? I beat it. Oh. Okay, I thought something sort of Name a voice. Bit different. Armora isn't the monster you think she is. Okay. Name voice. She has seen how you handle Koji. Name voice. If you can show Armora your bond with Koji, perhaps she will free Akira. Name voice, and we might show her that not all humans are to be feared. Alright, okay, well, uh, cool. First try, I didn't suck. I'm rather proud of myself. And I think that is actually going to be a good place to wrap up this video. Uh, I'm just trying to see where I, oh. Where am I here? So this is another... Uh, it's like another level or another door thing, but it's locked. I don't even know where this is. Huh. Just kind of looking around here really fast to see where the heck... Okay, we got some... Oh, okay, we're in a rainy... Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. I vaguely remember this, I think, from before. So, yeah. Like I said, I in that game file where I was at the fire level, I, I was um, further than this. So, let's go... Cancel. Restart. Exit to desktop. Return to title. Return to title. So there you go, guys. That is a look at Eagle Island. It is still a low-vision game, but like I said, a lot of people have a variety of impairments. Uh, you know, even low vision. There's a great, um, you know, people's vision differ greatly from person to person. And I said this in my GAConf talk earlier this year, I said, you know, I mean, the thing is, with all these, you know, with games where you have inventories and stores and uh, skill trees and all these different things, if I am able to still have text-to-speech to be able to read some of that to me, I can kind of give my eyes a rest, because text is where I have probably the most trouble to begin with. Um... You know, having to be able to kind of squint to be able to read a lot of small text in games these days. But if I'm able to use, like, text-to-speech, then I can, like I said, give my eyes a rest for that part. And use the vision that I do have for actually enjoying the game. So again, thank you to Pixelnix and company for being able to test this game, for releasing it, for all the accessibility features... I am actually going to go buy the Switch version right now, uh, after I'm done recording this. Again, that way you get another sales, uh, you get more sales, and I have a portable version, and I can show all this great accessibility stuff off to others as well. So, kudos to these guys for, for doing what they did. Um, it's very, very cool. And like I said, accessibility aside, it's a fun game. It's... A unique setting it's a unique like characters it's not your typical medieval thing it's not your uh, science fiction thing like it's a breath of fresh air actually so hope you guys enjoyed the video 
Follow me on Twitter at BGFH79, Mixer.com slash BGFH, IllegallyCited.com, and you can check out the A4G podcast on Anchor or other podcasting services. And thank you for liking the video. Please like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the Illegally Cited YouTube channel already. Uh, subscribe, please. And for all those who have subscribed and stuck with me here, uh, thank you. And uh, there's plenty more coming. And just thinking about where things are in 2019, guys. Like, <sighs> there's been so many more accessibility features and breakthroughs and just support in general in games over the last two to three years so like I said subscribe to the channel like the video because there's more coming um, you know this is not gonna be the last game that adds accessibility features and it's it, it can only really get better from here so I'm just as curious as you guys are to see what happens next. So we'll wrap it up here. This nice peaceful music here. We'll wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, I will chat with you guys again in the next video. Later. <laughs>